Hello guys, let's discuss this problem I can call Java iterator. First of all, what is an iterator? So iterator means it nothing it is nothing but when we go from one point to another point. That is you are traversing it can through anything, like it can be an array list, it can be a list in Python and anything that you want. Okay. So iterator means basically we are going from one element to the last element you can say that is from the first element of that particular list to the last element that is traversing through this so for that we use an iterator so that is all about it so this is a public class example then the main method i'm just explaining the example so that you guys get what is the meaning of iterator you know how to ap apply it so we are having this array list which is my list and we are just creating it after that we are adding some elements hello java 4 and so on now we are creating an iterator from it so remember iterator is a class in java utility package which is which they have imported over here so that's why i can use this class now so iterator this is the object and we are writing my list dot iterator so this list this iterator it it works on this my list that is the array list that we have created and it, it is it belongs to the collection class remember that's why we can use the iterator on it so while it dot has next what does this mean this means that whenever so while this iterator whenever or you can say this iterator belongs to my list so you can say that while this my list has any element has next means it will check the next element so if it has the next element then we will execute these codes uh, these lines or or will simply break out of the loop so then we are creating an object element this is nothing but a normal object you know we are just writing object class to it but this is just an element and then we are just writing it.next so basically we are writing element to be the next element of that particular list suppose the list contains 42 10 hash then element will be 42 element will be 10 element will be hash 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 element will be hello and java and so on okay and it will stop over here because when our, when our element is over here it dot next will be or you know it dot has next will be false because it does not have anything after java so it will be false and it will just simply go out of the for loop and will not do anything and away we are simply printing out string of element and remember we are writing string in brackets before element because if you see element is of type object if you see over here that's why we simply have to convert it into a string likewise and print out print out simply okay because if you don't write string then it will print out some address or i think it will print out null or some random address of that object we don't want that so simply convert it into a string for that i hope you understood what that is now now you can see the code over here they have simply they have a main class and they have defined the iterator we'll get back to it afterwards we have this main method we don't have to worry about this thing whatever it is so the main method inside it they are creating an uh, the creating a list and so on. they are doing many things inside of it scanner and all everything they are saying adding this hash whatever they are doing we don't have to worry about it what we uh, the thing that we have to worry about it is this iterator class so we are having this method basically we are having this iterator okay and we are passing the array list over here if you see system okay where do, yeah over here so if you see it iterator it equals to function of my list okay hold on i am not able to highlight it i hope you got it function of my list which we have defined hold on which we have defined over here function of and we are visually passing array of a list called my list then we are having iterator and so on and we, as we saw in this example we are doing the same thing while it dot has next we will say obj object element equals to we will simply say it dot next to get the next element you know of this particular array list don't forget the semicolon and after that what we have to do is we have to i think we have to print out okay then there is a special string this thing after that we have to print it out so simply what we are going to do is see there is this string so we will say when this element so when this element if actually so if this element is equal to or you can say dot equals uh, that string okay not a comma dot equals that string which has three hashes so simply this string then we will break out the out of this loop so i don't need a space over here so if this element equals to becomes equal to this hash then we'll break out of this loop and we'll return it basically after that we are printing it so basically if this element be will be equal to this thing then we'll jump out of this loop and they are saying that we can use instance of operator instance of operator means not it basically means that whenever you will simply write the object name the instance of then the class name so if it is if that object is the instance of that class then it will give the value as true otherwise will give us the give the value as false but we don't have to use it because we can simply write if element is equal to the that string which has three hashes then we will print it out or break out of this loop 
So I submitted it and each and every test case I satisfied. There's no error. So that's all from my side. You can subscribe to our channel to get updates regarding new videos. That's all. See you and keep learning. Thank you.